Alright, here we've got a brilliant disc chisel. And I know you say, eh, it don't have a lot of paint, but I'm telling you right now, the gentleman bought this. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 shank. Hydraulic fold. Alright. Let me tell you about this. This thing is tight. Like this has not been pulled. My guess is he bought this new and could not pull it because he didn't have enough horsepower and didn't want to go out and buy it. So you look at this thing, the frame's excellent, the shanks are excellent, they are spring-loaded shanks. The discs are like, they're like 19 something, 19 and a half across the bottom. And they're like 18s up top, okay? The bearings are seized up on some of it. Like this one here roll a little bit. It's got seal bearings. This has been set down by his barn. This thing structurally is very good. My guess is you're gonna have to put all new hoses on it. You go to using it, okay? It's been set. They probably put sealed bearings back in these disc uh, gangs in the front. But I'm telling you right now, this tool, you cannot replicate this tool on the market today. If you do, you better take about 50 grand or better to town to do it. Uh, this is a this is quite a fine. It doesn't have any welds on the hinges. If you look at the hinges, they're not wallered out. I would I would have to guess he maybe rebladed that center middle. And yeah, there's a broken blade there. But I bet you he pulled a little bit, he rebladed the center middle, was trying to use it just kind of like that. But I mean all these shanks extremely extremely good extremely tight and i mean normally those will have play in them if it's been pulled at all um, it's got gauge wheels on the wings let's get a total width should be about 15 when it's pulled it out but let's get the transport on this will be about 133 inches so just over 11 feet one inch okay outside the frame and then, uh, then these wings each will be uh less than five feet I think it's a 20 footer because it's a touch under. We're gonna call these four and a half foot wings. So I think this will fold out to chisel 20 foot with 15 shanks. I mean, I'm just telling you, I am in shock at how good these pins and everything are on this. And there is not a play in a single shank that I have grabbed. So, and the points are excellent. Like, I don't think this thing's been over hardly any acres. You're probably gonna have to put tires. The tires are weather cracked, okay? They're holding air but I wouldn't pull it across the, any further than across the lot. We can lift it and set it on your trailer. It's not an issue. Transport's good on it. And I'll just show you, you know, these hoses have got some weather cracking right here. I don't know if they work, but my guess is you go to use them, they're probably gonna start splitting because it's been a while since they've had any oil put through them. That's why we're not gonna try it because and it's up on transport. You know, they do have the locks in the transport. Um, but this is a tool, if you're willing to put the time in, you guys have a fantastic tool. And same thing, these hoses are kind of cruddy looking, right? They're kind of stiff. So I'm guessing you would want to probably replumb these hoses. But uh, but definitely the gangs are not freed up. They are sealed bearings, so there's really no way to grease those. But there is a way to grease, well, like this one rolls, okay? That one rolls, but the two top ones are just solid. And uh, we're not gonna mess with it, it is what it is. Whoever buys this is gonna take it to the next step and actually use it. There's the original serial number plate. 